Hello, this is Ed Stapleton Jr., founder of Limo Profits, and welcome. Welcome to the Limo Profits Toolkit Success. Uh, this particular video is very important for the growth of your business. Most uh, limousine business owners, when they think about growing their business, don't really take a strategic approach to it, and uh, they think of it more of a, a large mountain to climb and this, this incredible hurdle that they, they have to really do incrementally, and that's really not the case. Now, if you focus in on just three particular areas, uh, you could have some pretty dramatic growth, and that's a pretty exciting thing. Uh, what, with what I'm about to show you, I think you'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, welcome to this video, which is the three ways to grow your limousine business. Now, there are um, realistically really only three areas you need to focus in on. And the first area you need to really focus in on, like a laser, is with lead generation. You need to become better at generating new profitable leads for your business. That could be through running new advertisements. That could be through running proper direct mail and direct mail sequenced campaigns, which I teach you uh, through this um, toolkit success system. It could be through generating referrals from friends and family and also existing clientele. And I give you actual referral letters to use, emails, scripts. Uh, it could be in-person networking with other limousine businesses to get some affiliate business. It could be networking at your local chamber of commerce. It could be direct mail. Uh, to uh, corporations using my corporate client attraction system. It could be any number of things, but lead generation is very, very important. So next I want to focus in on sales conversion. Now sales conversion is the number of people, the number of leads you have, uh, and then the number, uh, a number of leads you convert, uh, convert to buyers. So uh, say you have 100 leads and 20 become buyers. That means you have a 20% sales conversion ratio. And your job is going to be to really hone in on that First, by tracking it, and then and it could, tracking could be as simple as just a spreadsheet or uh, a Word document that, that you keep track of, of leads that are coming in and then leads that become uh, new business, new clients for you. So ways that uh, you can increase conversion, number one, would be through measuring and tracking it. Also through some light sales training and objection handling on the phone, all stuff that we teach. And then really it comes down to setting targets. Um, you know, what, what you don't measure and what you don't set goals for can't really be reached. So setting targets is very important. Another way we can help increase conversion is through uh, really educating the, the consumer, the client, the buyer. And you do that with um, with the free guide I created for you called the Consumer Awareness Guide and Message, uh, as well as really creating a standard approach to how, uh, how you quote people. Instead of just ringing quotes off the top of your head because it feels good and you want to win that business, sit down one day and actually write out what your rates are and actually stick to them and have some pride in in, in making people pay full rate uh, as opposed to just discounting uh, right off the bat to win their business over so be strategic and, and again focus in on your sales conversion and the last area you have to focus in on is client lifetime value client lifetime value is what a client is worth to you in terms of revenue over the the length that you do business with them so um, it's really hard for me to say, but typically it might be two or three years until uh, you know, you know, until you look at your database of clients. It's 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 hard for me to give you a number. So I could just say let's let's say it's three years. But for the next example, I'm going to give we're just going to average that over the course of a year just to make it easier and uh, uh, a little bit um, easier to 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 explain. So uh, ways that you're going to increase client lifetime value is through uh, number one, increasing your pricing. Uh, if you increased your prices 10%, typically that'll double most limo businesses' profits overnight. That's a pretty dramatic thing uh, that most limousine businesses don't know too much about, and I explain that in the program. Um, other things you can do are cross-selling other services. If you're selling a limousine package, make sure that they know about your uh, airport transportation, maybe a honeymoon package where you pick up the uh, the bride and groom and take them to the airport. Um, it could also be as simple as if you're taking someone to the airport, making sure that they're booked for the ride home uh, and not leaving that to chance. Uh, it could also be asking if they'd like to book transportation in another city. If, if they're going to the airport, they're going to another city. So maybe you have affiliates set up in that, uh, in that city they're traveling to, and you can uh, make, some, make some percentage points on that, uh, on that round trip. So uh, another way that you're going to increase client lifetime, lifetime value is through increasing the frequency in which they uh, use your transportation. So you do that through nurturing, retaining, 
rewarding and creating incentives. And I know that I just spit out that real quick, nurture, retain, reward, incentivize, but uh, I'll get to that later in the program. But, uh, you know, let's now get on to the, uh, the actual uh, the, the numbers example I have for you to make this uh, as crystal clear as I possibly can. But just remember, as we're going through, we need to focus on lead generation, sales conversion, and client lifetime value. Okay, so let's look at ABC Limo Business, and that's a fictitious business I made up to uh, help us illustrate um, this point. So right now, over the course of a year, ABC Limo Business is bringing in 1,200 leads, and through their sales process, they're converting 20% of the leads that call in or email in or visit their office if they do have an office uh, are converting to buyers. So right now, they get 240 new clients per year and the client is worth to them seven hundred and fifty dollars per year it could be any number of things it could be um, and i'm just working on averages here so it could be a couple of airport transfers it could be a night in a town it could be a wedding package it could be really anything but right now i'm working on averages to show you an illustration so based on the two hundred and forty new customers per year times the seven hundred and fifty uh... dollar client value of the year that is one hundred and eighty thousand dollars in revenue now, if you focus in on right here, if you're able to increase lead generation from 1,200 to 1,320, that's just a 10% increase. So little tweaks in your advertising, little tweaks in your marketing, little tweaks in your referral campaigns. It could be setting up a referral campaign instead of letting them just happen. Um, you know, word of mouth is great, but really when you have a strategic uh, referral system in place, it's it's that much better. So. We're looking for just a 10% increase from 1,200 leads a year to 1,320 leads per year. And we want to increase your sales conversion rate just by 10%. So from um, converting 20% to buyers to 22% to buyers. Right there, that'll, that'll bring you down to 290.4 new clients per year. So 22% uh, of that is 20 uh, 290.4 and we're also going to get an increase uh, from the client value of 750 a year to 825 so we're just going to increase by again 10% so 825 and if we're able to do that that's 290.4 new customers times a client value of $825 that brings you a new revenue increase down to $239,580 that's a 33% increase you could do all of this very very easily increasing your lead gen by just ten percent is just a matter of implementing a handful of the systems i have in this program for you increasing your sales conversion it, it literally could be just a small tweak on the script on the phone it, it, it could be very simple and then increasing your client lifetime value it, it could be uh... charging more it could be charging it could be increasing the frequency that they they book in another city it could be uh, they book that out of uh, that night on the town. It could be any number of things, but you see, if you just do a 10% increase in each of these three areas, lead generation, sales conversion, and client lifetime value, you have a 33% increase in your business. Now, where it gets really, really interesting is that if you're able to generate 20% more leads, so from 1,200 to 1,440 leads per year, and you're able to uh, push your sales conversion from 20%, to 24%, that means you're bringing in 345.6 new clients per year. Additionally, if you're able to increase your client lifetime value from 750 to 900, which isn't isn't that big of a stretch, you increase your revenue all the way up to 311 at $40. That is $311,040. That's a 72% increase in your business. Now, notice uh, I didn't say anything that wild. The, the problem is is that you just have to focus in on uh, three specific areas. Most small limousine business owners uh, don't aren't really strategic in this uh, in this, and they think it's it's really like boiling the ocean when it's really not. It's really just focusing in on lead generation, sales conversion, and client lifetime value. So as you're going through the toolkit success system, keep this video in mind. First thing I want you to do though is is open up a spreadsheet and basically copy down the spreadsheet that I have here and put your own numbers in there. How many leads are you getting a year? If you don't know, put that there and then the following month you start tracking them. Uh, sales conversion, if you don't know, start tracking it. Client lifetime value, you should be able to figure that out based on, on the uh, the numbers and, and your dispatch software and, and however else you track. You should be able to figure that out. But 
Uh, if you don't know these things, these are things you have to start tracking. So it could be as simple as, as a, a yellow legal pad by your phone, or it could be an Excel spreadsheet. That's the way I'd like to see you do it. But really, at the end of the day, leads, sales conversion, client lifetime value. Focus in on those three areas. Look to make small changes in those, each of those areas, and you could literally double your, triple, quadruple your profitability in, in a month's time, in two months' time, in three months' time. It doesn't have to take a really long time. This is uh, where you get geometric growth. It comes from attacking uh, key areas, key metrics in your business. And uh, there's a saying that big uh, little hinges swing big doors. Well, in your business, the little hinges are lead generation, sales conversion, client lifetime value. So, as again, uh, again, as you're going through the program, always think back to this video. This video is the crux of, of what we're going to be doing to, to build your limousine business. So again, leads, sales conversion, client lifetime value. If you have any questions, just go to the ask at a question section and submit a question and I will get back to you as soon as possible with my best response. And then I'll also go ahead and uh, post that response in the, in the frequently asked questions area so that uh, other members can benefit from your question. And obviously I'll leave out any, any personal data or anything like that. But uh, again, focus, 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 leads, sales conversion, client lifetime value. That's all I got today. So I hope this helps and I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here for you. Take care.